Good morning everyone. We're back on the coffee day four. Oh my god, that is amazing. I love coffee. Now the waves are pretty loud and pretty strong today. I don't know whether you can see, but we got some big wave action going on behind me. <clears throat> Great day for surfing if you do that. I've never tried to be honest. A lot of people ask me, oh, why don't you try surfing? And it is very healthy sport to do actually because you're outside, you're in the sun, you're grounded in the sea. Like the sea is the best place to ground because so much of your body is in contact with the sea. But not only that, you absorb all the minerals and, and the salt from the salt water. It's, it's quite healthy to do, albeit a little bit dangerous. I know quite a few people who have done surfing who have had uh, injuries and and even some people die, you know. Uh, but it, it's probably unlikely for that to happen here. But um, people do get injured quite a lot. But the reason that I haven't bothered <coughs> to do surfing is to not spread myself too thin, you know. Like if I wanna if I wanna have a great physique, but well, surfers that do have good physiques as well, actually. But if I wanna have a good physique and I want to be productive in my business and I want to have a social life and I want to, you know, there's only a certain amount of things, limited number of things I can do well. And the more things I try and do, the less good I'm going to be at everything else because you spread yourself too thin. So I've not tried surfing yet. I'm definitely not against it. Maybe in the future when I have more free time, uh, I might consider it because it looks fun. But also surfing seems like one of those sports where it takes a while to get good at it to the point where you can actually enjoy it. Anyway, it's a little bit cloudy today. I mean, it's still looking good, but there's a few clouds right now. Um, I didn't sleep great last night because I had to turn the aircon off. Um, you know, I've got a sore throat, um, quite congested, and, and the AC was just drying my throat out. So I woke up in the middle of the night, super dry and painful. I was like, oh, this is horrible. So I turned the AC off, but then obviously I was too hot. So I've not had the best sleep, to be honest. But now that I've come outside and got fresh air, my throat doesn't feel that bad. I've got a bit of a sniffly nose as well. But, um, I'm in a bit of a predicament to be honest. I don't know whether to train today. Obviously I'd like to train. I don't really want to take a rest day uh, unless I have to. So my options is to take a rest day, to train but not to train too heavy, like do a deload. I think it's supposed to be legs today as well so I'm really not in the mood for training legs. Or I could just have like a high food day where I just eat pretty much whatever I want but then I'm not going to hit my fat loss goals and chances are that would mess up this week and I probably wouldn't wouldn't make any progress this week <coughs> so I'm not too sure what to do uh, you're probably wondering why I'm even sharing this with you you might not even care um, but if you ever wake up one day and you're feeling a little bit ill but not too ill to not train and you're cutting then you can um, then you know what kind of thought process to go through so I'm not too sure whether I'm going to train or not I'm not too sure whether I'm going to eat a lot of food or stick with my current calorie deficit but I am going to enjoy this coffee and then go for a nice walk down the beach absolutely addicted to this drink just what a man needs on a hot day like today yeah how much does that weigh and this is this is definitely a cheat meal to say the least um, we're going over the calories today I haven't gone all out for this meal because I think I'm going to go to an all-you-can-eat place tonight. But with that said, I'll show you what I've got. 
So here we have 350 gram grass fed strip wine steak, a beef, tomato and onion sausage, fries, fried in beef tallow, got some coleslaw and some potato wedges. Guess how much all this cost guys, you will not believe it. Fries are so good. Mm. Not only is the food really good here, it's extremely affordable. So all this meal was less than $25. Now that is crazy price. Even for Bali, that's cheap. I don't know anywhere that has as good a quality food that's as cheap as here. I used to eat here every single day, but now that I live a little bit further away, um, I can't really come every day. So if you ever get ill when you cut in, one thing that I would recommend is bringing your calories back up to maintenance, if not in a slight surplus, because if you try and maintain your calorie deficit, chances are you're just gonna prolong your illness longer. Like for example, I wanted to train today, but I don't feel well enough. I just don't feel great. <clears throat> Even if I do go and train, I'm not gonna have a good session. It's gonna be a waste of time. So I'd rather just focus on recovery and getting well and, and, and getting back to feeling good before I try and have another session where I just feel shit. So one option is to just rest, but just to keep stay in a calorie deficit. I've done this before, but typically your body is just not easily able to fight illness when it's in a calorie deficit and you can end up just just not getting better it's just the sickness just carries on and carries on and carries on whereas if I do one or two or three days where I'm in a calorie surplus chances are whatever illness I have is just going to completely go away Mm. Happiness. Well, that meal didn't last long at all, and I'm just trying to estimate the calories right now. And it's come out at 1,759 calories for that meal. Obviously, that is a bit of a guess because it's very hard to estimate the coleslaw exactly, the fries, the wedges even the sausage but uh, that's the best guess it's probably somewhere between 1500 and 1700 <clears throat> or 1800 I'd say somewhere around there but honestly uh, I really don't care right now I just want to get feeling good and get feeling back to 100% as fast as possible so if I have to get like a, a little bit soft for a few days just while I put my calories up, I don't know, I'd say it's a, it's the worthwhile trade-off. I'd rather just feel good and look fat than be ill and look shredded. Okay guys, so we're coming up to nearly 7 p.m. I usually like to eat dinner around 6 p.m. This is probably gonna be my second and final meal. I might squeeze a dessert in as well. I'm back at a restaurant called Beetroot. Now don't be fooled by the name. The name could be better, to be honest, but this deal that they have on right now is ridiculous. 200K, all you can eat steak. 200K is $12.68. You've got a choice of different sides that you can have here, different meats that they bring out. Um, this really is an insane deal. It's only in October because this restaurant's just opened. So we've got like, what, two, two, three days left of this deal. So I'm just making the most of it. And I honestly think if there's a way to my heart, it is definitely through all you can eat steak. One of the best things about living in Bali is the amount of food options uh, is just insane. 
Uh, it's better than anywhere else I've been actually in terms of just the variety of different food that you can have and eating out here is so much cheaper than than most places obviously it, I'd say it's probably three or four times cheaper than Dubai maybe three times cheaper than England um, and there's so much variety I actually think there's more variety here than in Dubai and a similar standard, if not better food here, to be honest. Um, so many different options, regardless of what you want. Uh, a lot of high-end restaurants, but also there's a lot of restaurants where it's pretty good value as well. I am a sucker for white rice. This rice has got, um, it's butter rice. It's been cooked with butter, so it's extra, extra juicy, juicy, I'll try again, and addictive. Mm. Okay, so how this deal works, guys, is you can have as many of these plates as you want. I had four and a half last time I came here. This looks like the beef, chicken, lamb, and this is red snapper. I'm just waiting on some salt right now. Well, let's try the lamb. It's very good, very juicy. I'll bring another one. So Great, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you very much. What's the fish today? Uh, it's snapper. That's red, red snapper? Red snapper. Oh, okay, it tastes different from the other day. Thank you. Just if you need something, I'll just let you Okay, great, thank you. Wow, they brought me another one already. Oh dear. We're gonna attempt to not eat too much tonight because obviously I'm still meant to be cutting, right? So I'll get some salt on here. Don't, don't be afraid of salt guys, especially if it's high quality. I mean, this one probably isn't, to be honest, but make sure you get a high quality sea salt, Celtic sea salt, something like that, or natural Himalayan salt, and use it salt to taste. Feel free. This is, this is really nice. It might look like I'm adding a lot of salt right now, I can assure you. There's not much salt coming out at all. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what this sauce is here, but it tastes good. It's almost like a sweet barbecue sauce. Yeah, and this one. I have no idea, to be honest. I can definitely taste the sugar in it, though, that's for sure. Mm. So instead of counting sets today, we're going to be counting plates. Second plate of rice. I'd actually say that's probably about 150 grams maximum. When it comes to estimating, I always like to overestimate and underestimate as well. But it depends, depends on your goal, right? If you're trying to gain muscle, and you're in a gaining phase, I would say it's better to slightly underestimate. But if you're in a fat loss phase, it's better to slightly overestimate because you're probably gonna be wrong anyway. I'd say this is about 150 grams of rice. Okay, so on to plate three. This time, the beef is looking real good. Looks like I got a little bit more beef this time than last time. A red snapper, I'm not really liking the red snapper to be honest, so I'm gonna order the next plate without red snapper. I want some more of that barbecue sauce. That barbecue sauce is good. Ah, oh, look at all that barbecue sauce. Mm. So after three full plates of meat and two plates of rice. Yeah, 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 that's for me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. This is plate number four. No red snapper this time because it just feels like a waste of calories at this point but not including this. 
currently sitting at 1200 calories for this meal, 135 grams of protein, 34 grams of fat, and 86 grams of carbs. Plus or minus a lot, that is a very, very rough estimate. That's also not including the barbecue sauce, which I might add on, add on at the end as well. Also got some potato wedges because it'd be rude not to. I've just ordered another plate as well. So yeah. How, uh, how many grams is that, do you think? Mm. Diet starts tomorrow, guys. We've got a refill on the potato wedges. I'm honestly starting to feel a little bit full now, which is good because I don't want to eat too much. Okay, so that is two plates of rice, two portions of potato wedges, three full plates and one plate without the red snapper. If my calculations are somewhat accurate, I'm looking at nearly 1800 calories. I could definitely eat more right now, but I'm wondering whether to uh, save room for dessert. Or still have more handy dessert. I honestly think if uh, I have one natural talent, it's just being able to eat a lot. I've always had a huge appetite, which doesn't help if you want to get lean, to be honest. It's much better to just have a small appetite if you want to get lean, for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, I think in another life I should have been a competitive eater. But maybe I could do that here, if there's any, uh, you know, these food competitions, man versus food challenges in Bali. Um, could maybe do one of them. If that sounds like something that would interest you, let me know. I'll... Okay guys, now it's time for dessert. Pineapple. You can see on the sides here, it's got cinnamon and honey, and it's sweet. It's very nice. One thing that they don't do here, which they should do, is serve this warm, this is actually cold right now. Usually, especially in like a, a typical Brazilian barbecue, <clears throat> excuse me, you would get the pineapple warm. Warm pineapple with like a sweet coating on the outside. Absolutely delicious. Anyway, I've ordered some more and asked for them to heat it up on the grill. Here we are, this time it's warm. I wish you could try this guys, I even smell it. it. Smells amazing. Get some warm pineapple in your life. Mm. Okay, so I've just calculated the calories, estimated calories for this meal. 1,875, 185 grams of protein, 54 grams of fat, and 165 grams of carbs, which brings my total for the day so far at 3,924 calories. So here's the final bill, including a Coke Zero and tax and service, you're looking at 276K, which is $17.50. That's right, $17.50, all you can eat steak, and it's great quality too. I gotta be honest, this is probably one of the best value meals I've ever had. There's not many places in Bali which are this cheap for such good value. So yeah, highly recommend. Guys, you didn't think I would end this anabolic cheat day without a proper dessert. This is cookies and creams, cookies and cream, uh, cream of rice from this dessert place that I always go to. I ordered an extra large bowl as well because, you know, why not? It's a cheat day, so. Oh, look at this. Cheers. Wow. So good. Yeah, this is one of my favorite from here. This is really good. 
Mm. So not only are these desserts delicious and quite clean, they also give you the calories and macros. So for this meal, 645 calories, 30, 32 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, 95 grams of carbohydrates. So the total calories for the day, are you ready? 4,569 calories approximately, obviously some of this is estimating, 347 grams of protein, 164 grams of fat, and 436 grams of carbohydrates. That's including my coffees in the morning, the coconut water, uh, my two meals, and this dessert. I would say that is a full day of anabolic eating done.